here we are. We're driving in the car. It's nearly six o'clock, not quite. We are driving toward... Well, we're heading towards Charlieville, but we're not going to get there tonight. So we're going to go towards Blackhall. Hopefully we'll stop in a little camp about 20 k's north of Blackhall, which is about another... We're looking at the latitude, 24 degrees, 10 minutes and 17 seconds. So another six degrees according to the latitude. We'll see how it happens. So for the first time ever, we're actually using the longitude and latitude primarily because the other camp that we wanted to stop at, there was no signage and we think we went past it without even knowing. So we're trying to double check ourselves this time because it really is getting darker. It's, what's it, five to six? And we're happy to stop now. Just before the sun goes down, well, it's pretty much down, we have pulled into Douglas Pond Creek and it showed up in the camp book as a rest area on the side of the road, but it's not. You come over a little bridge and there's everything here. It says you have to be self-contained toilets, but there are toilets over there. And it looks pretty and quiet and we're happy to be here because it was getting a bit late for us, wasn't it? It's almost my bedtime. It's six o'clock. <laughs> he wants dinner. Gosh, didn't we luck out pulling in last night from along this highway to what we were reading in the camp book was a rest area directly along the road. And we thought we'd be camping like in this little bit where this guy did. But that's not the truth. You actually go over a little bridge and then there's a whole open area. There's toilets, there's picnic tables, and there's quite a few people camping there and it was so quiet and silent had the best night's sleep very happy i don't need to spend longer here i mean it's just a bush camp but people had fires and everything and it's given us like two hours further along the road Site. We are 11 k's outside of Charlieville at the Charlieville Rock Pools, which is just the rock pools just over there. There actually is rock pools. We've come down the other end to this little smick spot, and I'm quite happy to be here. There's no facilities out here at all except for a few bins, so you need to come prepared. Look at the water there's so many bugs because it's been stagnant for a while They're, they actually all look like tadpoles i've walked for a few minutes only from the road, which is on the other side, through the width of the camping site, and then you come to the railway tracks. This is downtown Charlieville and sadly there's a lot of empty shops. There's the basics and there might be more around, but he's a bit disappointed. We walked to the bakery and... It's been, it's been closed for years. Yeah, the sign's still up, but there's no bakery. So he's a little saddened. But we're walking back to the information centre because <coughs> if you come to the Bilby experience, it's actually attached to the information centre. The entrance is in the same building. Beautiful old pubs and what is it opened is well maintained and they have the worst vegetarian restaurant which is just good. We've just come out of the Bilby experience. It was absolutely amazing. If you're ever in Charleville, you really need to come and do it. Not only do you learn so much about 
Australian wildlife and how they're trying to manage populations. You also get to see the bilbies particularly active in the nocturnal cage. You also learn that not all corporations that are selling Bilby chocolates are actually donating to the Bilby Foundation. I don't mind a bit of drama and when we were at the Bilby experience they mentioned that the largest road accident explosion in Australia had happened just outside of Charlieville on the way to Kanamala. So we found it. Well, it wasn't hard to find. It's very well signposted. And what happened was a truck carrying fertilizer and diesel crashed, had a leak, rang the authorities and said, I'm in a little bit of trouble. The police car that was on the way out, that was about a kilometer away, when the explosion happened, it got damaged, but there was a few people injured and in the township they actually felt it it hit the Richter scale and this is the bridge and the reason why the railway no longer goes all the way to Quilpie Charlieville is the end of the line um, they weren't using it very much they said most of the livestock was being carried by road and they just chose not to replace it Here we are, we're just outside of Burke. We have driven nearly all day except for lunch at Kanamala on the way down and we're north of Burke, not far from where we originally camped at Kidman Camp on the way up. But we should have come here on the way up. This is Mays Bend and it's much more our style. So there is a river down there and many people are camped closer down there. We're only here one night and we just want peace and quiet and a nice time. And yes, I know there's branches over the top. And John guarantees me they won't fall on the van. Is that right? We've got a shovel, it's all right. If I was on my own, I would never park under a tree like this, but he's convinced me. I'm looking forward to watching the sun go down over here. Good morning. A bit of a different look this morning. Puffer jackets and beanies back on. It got to minus two here in Burke and it's cold. We've had the diesel heater on and we've laid in for quite a while, specifically because it was so cold. dry but just really dug up in some places they've obviously had a lot of traffic through here
Have you? Yeah, I was wondering, how come when he transforms he doesn't lose his pants? I don't know. Well, apparently the experiment uh, alters his genes. Uh-huh. It's a very long drive. Last morning of our trip, it's a month to the day today that we left home. Is that right? Yes. And we stayed at Peak Hill last night in the caravan park. Lovely little place. But we did go out for dinner and we tried a pub and the servicemen's club. And it wasn't particularly accommodating to strangers. They weren't particularly friendly. Is that right? Well, the food was okay. The pub was very not like the country pubs where they have a chat here and stuff like that. But food was okay. So people just stared at us for a very long time as till we left. But we've come up to their gold mining experience. It's all free. And they've clearly planned for vans and cars. And we just expected a little lookout over the mine. But they've gone to a lot of trouble. So now we're expecting big things. But it was a gold mine. Well done. Nice. Hidden talents. Look at this. Open cut mine. Good place for 22 years. Wow. That's amazing. And there is a walk that you can do all the way around it. But obviously we're about to travel and it's been raining fairly consistently. Did you know anything like this was here? Oh yeah, I didn't know it was here, yeah. Did you? Yeah. God, you're a bullshit. Well, that's it. We're home and we've done all the washing and everything. And somebody's even cut off his little ponytail. Bit sad. I lost all my power now. Yeah. Over the course of the month, we visited 16 different towns and campsites. We travelled about 5,500 k's, towed for about 5,200 k's of that. We uh, averaged about 14.4 litres per 100 k's while towing. Uh, we basically between 12.9 and 16 litres per 100 k's, but worked at average about 14.4. We used 742 litres of diesel. Fuel ranged from $1.75 to $2.55 a litre. So I've just averaged it around to $2 a litre. So therefore we used about $1,500 worth of diesel over that 5,500 k's. There you go. So John's back to work. And I don't know where I'm going to go next, but it'll be somewhere and I'm looking forward to it, but I will miss my sidekick very much. Anyway. Well. <laughs> Anyhow, I will see you on the other side. Last day of the trip and last joke, and he reckons he's got a really good one, so we'll see how it pans out. Up we go. I ate the last of the cheese yesterday, and today it's raining. Right. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I still think the clog one in the toilet was better.